What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got Algae Crumpler through the years, representing UNC, those Falcons, those Titans, and those Patriots. In NCAA 98, his sophomore season in college, he has 81 agility, 76 speed, 65 awareness, 70 catch, catch and an 88 for his run block rating. He would catch a grand total of 24 passes for 278 yards for four TDs, averaging 11.6 yards per catch. And this was one of his best seasons if not his best season in college as he catches a bomb right there he's gonna take it to the crib man beasting and feasting check out the replay look at them graphics man fantastic now there's a little bit of confusion moving forward right in ncaa 99 you can see that he is wearing 83 but i'm not even sure if that's him i believe the guy catching this pass is supposed to be him even though he's wearing number 85 and clearly he's a light-skinned brother or maybe even caucasian right so i didn't know which one it was but he definitely was in this game but he did not register a single stat in college i'm guessing that he was hurt because in the next game he will be there but he'll be wearing 82 and he will be light skin again so i'm guessing 85 was supposed to be him but it wasn't him so in NCAA 2000 67 agility 59 speed 87 awareness 75 catch 69 for his run block he would catch 20 passes for 191 yards and average 9.6 yards per catch that was a nice catch right there versus number one florida state that team was beastly back in the day, especially in NCAA 2000. Okay, you better recognize. NCAA 2001, he has 77 agility, 77 speed, 84 awareness, 84 catch, 85 for his run block. He, in his final season in college, right, spent five years in college. In 1998, he missed the year for whatever reason. He caught 23 passes in 2000 for 287 yards. Averaging 12.5 yards per catch, and he also caught one TD. First Georgia Tech, and they lost. He had two catches for 70 yards plus a touchdown. First Marshall, he had five catches for 38 yards. Now, moving on to his NFL career, he was a second round pick, pick number 35 for those Falcons. Came in the same draft class as Mike Vick. That's not a bad draft for the Falcons. 64 overall, 64 speed, 64 strength, 56 awareness, 70 acceleration, 70 catch, 59 for his break tackle, and a 54 run block rating. For his first season, he would catch 25 passes for 350 yards, averaged 13.2 yards per catch. He also caught three, pa three touchdown passes and had a long of 57. Versus New Orleans, five catches, 78 yards, plus a TD, and that was Mike Vick's first TD pass of his career. And then in a win versus Buffalo, two for 54 and a TD. That's right, two for 54 in a TD. NFL 2K2, 69 overall for Big Algae. And he's going to come in here and do some work for those St. Louis Rams. Mike Vick drops back the pass, finds Crumpler over the middle for a big first down. Move those chains. Now let's move on to Madden 2003, moving into his second season. He's 71 overall, 64 for his speed, 64 agility, 73 acceleration, comes in with a 72 catch rating, 69 carry, 64 block, or 64 break tackle, and a 59 run block rating. Now for this season, he will catch 36 passes for 455 yards, 5 TDs, average 12.6 yards per reception, and he had a long of 33. Versus San Francisco, five receptions for 75 yards plus a touchdown. And then versus New Orleans, he had a grand total of four catches for 62 yards. Moving on to 2K3, he's 72 overall, 74 speed, 67 agility, 65 awareness, 66 for his route running, 74 catch, 62 run block. And if he had Mike Vick speed, he would be gone. But I mean, he is a tight end. He was a pretty big tight end too, man. He, he was no, he was no little cupcake, if you know what I mean, man. He was a big T-bone steak with the football running down the field. Anyways, man, on this last play, you're going to see Vic dropping back, throwing a strike. The crumpler gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Now, it's time to move on to Madden 2004 with Mike Vick on the cover. And Crumpler would have a pretty good season, man. He's up to 82 overall with 74 speed, 75 agility, 82 acceleration, 77 catch, 60 69 carry, 70 break tackle, and a 59 for his run block. He will make it to the Pro Bowl. He will catch 44 passes for 552 yards. And remember, a lot of this came without Mike Vick because Mike Vick was on the cover. Therefore, he was cursed, got hurt in the preseason, was out, I believe, for the whole season. Maybe played a couple of games. I don't.
don't really remember. But in a win versus Dallas, he had a grand total of five receptions for 94 yards plus a TD and a loss to Carolina, three catches for 76 yards. And he also added a touchdown versus Tampa Bay. And he caught three touchdown passes the whole season, had a longer 63, and that was 12.5 yards per catch. So in ESPN 2K4, he is 85 overall, 69 run block, 81 catch, 81 route running, 75 speed, 71 agility. He also comes in with a 70 jump right just throw it up to him he gonna go get it like the big boss Randy Moss anyways it's time to move on to Madden 2005 and the Madden 2005 will he still be in the 80s will he be up to the 90s he's 92 overall y'all 83 speed 82 agility 86 acceleration 84 catch and a 70 carry rating 77 jump and a 60 run block rating as well. He made it to the Pro Bowl yet again. That's back-to-back -back seasons. He caught 48 passes for 774 yards, 6 TDs, averaging 16.1 yards per catch, had a long of 49. A win versus those G-Men. Four catches for 47 yards plus two TDs. And a win versus New Orleans, and that's a beautiful pass by my Vic right there. Crowd going crazy. But versus New Orleans, he had four receptions for 103 yards, his first 100 receiving yard game uh, of his career so far. And he also caught one TD, or yeah, one TD in that game as well. And the game versus the Giants was his first career two touchdown game of his career. Moving on to ESPN 2K5, 87 overall, 69 run block, 81 catch, 78 for his route running, 75 speed, 71 agility, 70 jump, and he also comes in with a 61 break tackle rating and, and who could forget him getting smacked by Brian Dawkins I mean it's part of his legacy too because he hanging on to the ball a lot of people forgot that Alge Crumple made the catch Madden 06 93 overall 84 speed 84 agility 86 acceleration 85 catch 77 jump 65 break tackle and a 59 run block rating now he will make it to the Pro Bowl yet again he will catch 65 passes for 877 yards both are career highs, five TDs. He also averaged 13.5 yards per catch, had a long of 48, and a win versus Detroit, seven catches for 104 yards, two TDs, three receptions, 94 yards versus New Orleans. He loves playing against New Orleans, man. He's always having a fantastic day. Let's move on to Madden 07, where he's 96 overall, 85 speed, 82 agility, 86 acceleration, 78 truck, 87 catch, 77 jump, and yet again, 59 run blocking. I don't think EA paid attention whether he could block or not. There's like, let's, let's give him 59. Let's give him 59. Anyways, he made it to the Pro Bowl yet again. That's four straight seasons. He caught 56 passes with 78 yards, or 780 yards, excuse me, eight TDs, averaging 13.9 yards per catch and had a long of 46. That eight TD mark is the highest of his career. And they went versus Pittsburgh. He caught six Passing for 117 yards, which is the most yards in a single game for him. Three TDs, which is the most in a single game for him. And they win versus Cincinnati, four catches, 72 yards, plus a TD. Madden 08, he comes in at 94 overall, 78 speed, 77 agility, 80 acceleration, 88 catch, 88 route running, 90 for his catch in traffic, and an 87 spectacular catch rating as well. Now he'll catch 42 passes for 444 yards. Five TDs, who'd average 10.6 yards per catch, and he had a long of 55. And a win versus Seattle, he caught three passes for 67 yards and two TDs, and a loss versus Carolina, six receptions for 63 yards plus a touchdown. Right here, he gets in the end zone versus the Bears. Moving on to his days as a Tennessee Titan, Madden 09, 86 overall for Big Algae, 78 speed. 72 agility, 74 acceleration, 82 catch, 80 route running, 86 catch in traffic, and an 85 spectacular catch rating as well. He will catch just 24 passes for 257 yards for his first year in Tennessee. He will receive one touchdown reception. He also averaged 10.7 yards per catch and had a long of 28. And they went versus Baltimore, two receptions for 15 yards plus a touchdown. And they went versus Kansas City, two receptions for just 38 yards. But he can still get it done in Madden. You see that pass? You see that catch? Straight balling. Kerry Collins ain't made it easy on you either. Kerry Collins made it hard. You, you had to have some good spectacular catch rating with Kerry Collins. Anyways, I'm done. Madden 2010, 77 overall, 68 speed, 70 agility, 72 acceleration, 74 catch, 80 route running, 
79 catch in traffic and an 82 spectacular catch rating. For his last year in Tennessee, Algie Crumpler caught a grand total of 27 passes for 222 yards, one TD, averaged 8.2 yards per reception, had a long of 27. Versus St. Louis, four catches, 41 yards plus a TD, and a win versus those Houston Texans, four catches for 44 yards. Now it's time to move on to how many of y'all remember this? His days as a Patriot. He was teammates with Gronk and Aaron Hernandez. That, that's a pretty solid tight end core. Any new add on LG Crumpler? I'm just saying. Madden 11, he's 74 overall, 68 speed, 68 agility, 71 for his acceleration, 74 catch, 72 route running, 75 catch in traffic, and a 77 spectacular catch rating. He would catch a grand total of six passes for 52 yards. He would average 8.7 yards per catch. Caught two TDs, though. Caught two TDs and had a long 27. And they went versus Buffalo in Week 16. He caught one pass for four yards plus a touchdown. And they went versus Miami in Week 17. One catch for 10 yards plus a touchdown, man. In matter 2012, he is 73 overall. Now, when we add up all those overalls and divide it by the same number of games, we get 81 overall for Algie Crumpler's career as a video game character in the NFL. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.